Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're going to be working on the Volkswagen Caddy. Now, it's been a bit of a nightmare since I've bought it. Considering the mileage and the age of the vehicle, I've been really surprised with how unreliable it's been. But uh, I'm slowly working through it. Now, I went to work a few times and the fuel line actually popped off. Um, every time it popped off, I'd lose 10 to 20 quid worth of diesel and it was really frustrating, left me stranded. The clutch is also slipping so bad that most of the hills around the valleys where I live, I can barely get up them at over 25 mile an hour. I was so frustrated, I thought I'm going to take it straight down to the nearest Volkswagen dealer, I'm going to trade it in and I'm going to get a lease or finance on the brand new Volkswagen T6. And when I looked at how much they cost, I thought, hmm, maybe I should just uh, fix the van I've got. So that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, I need to get the van fixed, all the little niggles done, because I want to bring a new vehicle onto the channel soon. So before I go starting anything else, I'd like to fix all the vehicles that I've currently got, just so I'm not letting the jobs mount up. So let's get the van in. Okay, so we've got the caddy up in the air and uh, we're just preparing now to actually get the box out but easier said than done there's quite a lot of things that we need to do so we've taken the intake off the battery out battery tray uh, the gear linkages off now we just gotta take the starter out then we're gonna go underneath disconnect the drive shafts and see what needs to be done unless you're doing it on the exact same car the second time the process will be different so we're just sort of figuring out what needs to be done as and when. Okay, so we're under the van, and as always seems to be the case, I was told the clutch was brand new, and it doesn't seem to be, because it's the factory clutch, it says on the thing, that's a Volkswagen LUK clutch. So I find it unlikely that a 400 pound clutch has been put in this um, van and then burnt out within a month of me having it, especially when I did like 100 miles in it. Um, it does not look brand new, and there's no oil on it, so I thought maybe it was like an oil contamination, doesn't seem to be. But we're going to take the pressure plate off now and see what's going on. Okay, so this is literally the worst condition clutch I've ever seen. Uh, look at the heat damage on that. I mean, I have ignored this slipping clutch and I've literally driven around it for months. Um, I managed to make it last, but the flywheel's had it by the looks of it. Actually, it looks like it's had it, but it feels flat. So maybe it just wants a new clutch. Okay, so here's the clutch and pressure plate up close. And there's no chance this is just a couple of months old. Uh, reason for that, it says Volkswagen Audi Group on the friction plate. Um, it is a luck part as well, so definitely the factory friction plate. And it's so worn, it's actually started eating into the rivets so they haven't actually damaged the flywheel which is a good thing but there is heat marks on the flywheel and the same on the other side um, we've got a luck pressure plate here this is the sort of heat marks you can see both on the flywheel and on this um, I put it off for a long time this job I've been driving around with a slipping clutch for a very long time and I've just been driving around the weak clutch. It's getting to a point now I can't ignore it. It's undrivable. Any hill I get to, especially with all that weight in the back, um, yeah, it just slips. So I put it off mainly because I was told there was nothing wrong with it. I was told it was a brand new clutch and I thought maybe it just needs to bed in properly. Obviously, it's still slipping, so yeah, it was more than that. But we're going to order a replacement luck clutch. I'm just going to measure it up just to make sure that the part I'm ordering is the same diameter. And then in a couple of days when it arrives, we'll fit it. So just looking over here, um, it probably looks like a, a spider's web, which uh, yeah, it does. Uh, basic process was to um, unbolt the drive shaft. We've actually cable tied it out of the way there. You can just see the one end of it there. Cable tied quite a few things out of the way. Then, um, yeah, and then both the drive shafts, intake out, battery tray, um, starter motor out, quite a few things really. Drop the gearbox. 
once upon a time a job like this would have scared me right off but uh, I think I'm at a point now where a clutch change isn't, doesn't really phase me. Um, did notice as well the slave cylinder a little bit sticky can't see any leaking but for the sake of 40 quid we might just replace it don't really want to be putting a cheap clutch in especially when I intend to keep it for so long and also the weight I do carry around in it I'm pretty much running it at maximum payload most of the time so um, yeah I can't be cheaping out on clutches so yeah really at the halfway point just got to stick it all back together okay so got a brand new clutch for the caddy it's a LUK clutch kit apparently a little bit of research online don't cheap out on the clutch, apparently the Transmec ones are a bit cheaper but they're rubbish. LUK is the clutch that came in the van from factory and it's pretty much a Volkswagen Polo clutch so it's not really strong to start with and you don't really want to go putting a cheap one on. So that's why we had to go for LUK, £300 full whack but uh, managed to get it on offer at 205 so not too bad. They did a Valio for 400 or 394 so very expensive clutch but you know it is what it is and we don't want to be doing it twice so uh, we're going to fit it now we're going to clean up the flywheel uh, degrease it a bit and then uh, stick it on torque it up and hopefully it's fixed so let's do it okay so the new clutch is in all torqued up to 20 newton meters i didn't buy a clutch aligning tool i never have bought one never had a problem just uh, stick your head up there by eye with a socket and line it up. If you can't move it, just back off the pressure plate until you can tighten it up and then retorque it. So that's what I've done there and it's uh, lined up. Use the box, we fit the new release beer in. Let's have a look at that. Uh, didn't have any um, grease that is suitable for that in the box, which I was quite surprised by. But thankfully I bought an Excedi clutch on the Celica GT4 a few years ago and it had uh, some grease there so we use that now we just got to try and fit the box again it's going to be a bit of a pain because it was really really tight coming out and it's going to, it's going to be even harder to get back in but i'm sure there's nothing that we can't do so the clutch install is complete just got to tighten up a couple of the bolts in the arch liner put the wheels on and hopefully it works now when i fit the gearbox at first the starter motor wasn't in I could see through the starter motor hole that the clutch was engaging and disengaging as normal. So I don't see any reason this should be a problem. But, uh, you know, whenever you do a big job on a car, it's always a, a little bit nerve wracking because, you know, it's a lot of work and you want to make sure it's done right. So I'm just going to go over everything, make sure all the bolts are tight. Then once that's done, fit the tires, uh, fit the wheels rather, and uh, take it out of the garage. Okay, so the wheels are on. Here goes nothing. We're gonna give it a go. So it's a few days later now. It's actually New Year's Day, and uh, we're gonna test the clutch on camera. I have taken it out. It seems pretty strong. Uh, it seems to have fixed all the issues. So I'm uh, just gonna take it up a steep hill, just local round where I live, and uh, we'll see how it performs. Now it's really cold. Um, we're gonna look for some antifreeze for steve as well well that's what i'm gonna do off camera because uh, it's getting cold now and i just realized i haven't put coolant in it so i only put water in but the clutch seems fine no issues so far the only thing i have noticed is i've developed a squeaky clutch pedal so i don't know what that's all about I took it up a really steep mountain by me yesterday and uh, didn't slip at all. And that's with 500 kilograms of water in the back. But yeah, we're gonna have to get some WD-40 on that pedal. So I've done the fuel line now. I've done the clutch as well. And uh, I think the Caddy should be reliable now. So hopefully we won't see it again in another video, but you never know. So if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to like, consider subscribing as well, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.